All righty. Well, this is an interesting duo. We have past world champion Isaac Robinson and probably the favorite Gannon Burr. You think Isaac's the favorite? From what I've seen this week. Oh. oh, insider info. Isaac, would you say the same? You're the favorite. Practice rounds have been feeling pretty good. Oh. <laughs> I was telling it, I've had the chance to play a few rounds. Now, most of them have not been serious rounds with him. But uh, I, forget, I think it was Robbie had said something about Isaac's distance might maybe hold him back. I was like, I don't think you understand. He throws far. He throws, Isaac throws like, if people no sleep problem. on your distance. I don't want to throw Robbie under the bus when I say this. I don't want to throw Robbie on the bus and lump him in. There are a lot of people on the internet that talk about disc golf that know nothing. Wow. That know nothing. <laughs> Robbie. Oh. There's a lot. Of, life I'm, not, the bus. I'm not throwing Robbie in there. I'm not throwing Robbie you in there. you other people than Robbie. Sure. It sounds like he's under the bus. Uh, but no, there's a lot of people that like just say stuff, and it's like you have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I don't think Robbie's in that situation at all. No, no, no. I, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't want just because it, of that one take. I don't want to take him in there. <laughs> that was just a bad take. It seemed like you were taking him there, but I was well, going to no, say this is a bad take. Did Isaac. Isaac oh, and, oh, he's defending himself. Uh, Isaac and Ezra's distance don't come across on camera the way he does in person. I think there's probably a lot of pros that fall into that category. Well, because he doesn't have a 40 foot run up. Maybe. Mm. I Maybe. don't know. Anyway, sleepy power is all I'm trying to say. So you're claiming you're the favorite. You think? Well, you feel you feel good coming in I'm as saying, the favorite. Practice rounds have been going well. Yeah, he, he knows he's gonna win, but he just doesn't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, these courses. Like when you think of a core, like a course setup that would favor your style of play, like these are the ones that go because, in my opinion, like New London, obviously Paul Macbeth designed it. Mm -hmm. He's not going to really design a course that has a bunch of holes that he sucks at, right? Yeah, that that yeah. would be kind of a dumb thing to do, <laughs> right? Yep. So a lot of them are backhand holes, mm -hmm. putter, mid, yep. uh, or fairway for a lot of them, mm -hmm. and very like specific kind of hyzer flip, keep it in the fairway type of shots, which yep. I would say you probably are I one of the best it, in the world. I do enjoy world. that. I do yeah. enjoy it. And then you go to Ivy, and Ivy is like kind of like Portland D-Glow baby. It's kind of how I view Ivy a little bit, right? Yeah. It's got the length of Portland, but it's got the elevation with D-Glow, and then maybe even throw like USDGC in there with the OB, and it's kind of like a little mixture of those three. Yeah. So like, first off, what are your thoughts? Because I know initially I heard that you hated the courses. Whoa, hated's very strong. Both courses. I heard it. Okay. I heard it. Okay. Who said, who said courses? Okay. I not heard me. that you did not like Ivy. Okay. Initially. Initially. And you, and you said it started growing it's, on you. It's so, gotten slightly better. I just. I so what are your complaints here? Let's, let's, let's talk it out here. What I don't know why it, what it is. Maybe it's the hills and I kind of get flashbacks to D-Glow. <laughs> if you know. Our group just doesn't like Deagle at I hate all. That place. Oh, dang <laughs> on. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I just, I just didn't really love it that much. I think, I think the first time I played it, uh, I played kind of four, five, six that stretch back to back to back. Um, four, I hadn't really figured out what the shot was. Um, I think it's like a spike hyzer that maybe balances over the hay bales. But yeah, um, there's a lot. Four of, is not a great hole. Yeah, I'm not like a huge fan of four. Five, I think, is a very bad hole. Really? I think five is terrible. Have, I think there's only wow. ten people in the world that can reach that hole, and probably only two of them are going to get the hole. In my opinion. So five is for those that don't know. Yeah, here we go. Sauce, obviously, best producer in the house. Let's um, go. <laughs> yeah. So fast. five. So the elevation from you can see the tee boxes, right? The, those are the golf tee boxes, the light green. I would say between each tee box, the elevation's probably about 30 feet. It's a lot. And it's, and it's literally like a slow, gradual incline. And then as you get to the tee box, it gets even steeper. So ideally, you land it on that third tee box. Now, I've done it once. Whoa. What? Big hyzer guy. Yeah. Come on. Who are you talking to? You've always been a big high. Yeah, guy. thank you. Always. Exactly. Yeah. That is that, that is like you kind of have to have the ultimate frisbee throw to get it there cuz it is a flippy you to get it there you have to throw a flippy disc on a lot of hyzer. And like almost inside I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have like to almost miss that tree. You have to left, almost yeah. miss that tree. Yeah. That tree honestly has also grown out since the last mm -hmm. time I played it which I think has made it a lot harder to get up there mm -hmm. cuz the one practice round I had out there I was like 10 feet short. Okay. And if you're short of there, you are now throwing yep. on like a 30 degree incline. Yeah. It's weird. Like the distance almost isn't the problem. It's just the footing. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to get the power. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not that far of a shot. 
-hmm. but to get the power. So I agree with you there. I almost, honestly, guys, I almost would love for them to move that tee back back to where mm. it, make it a three shot hole to where yeah. you land on like the lower tier land it like a good shot lands on that first tee pad mm -hmm. and then the second shot you can push into how far you want to get aggressive wise and then move the basket like further back and make it like a, an actual par five three shotter because mm -hmm. that's backyard then <laughs> yeah, yeah you'd uh, be in the backyard well, yeah. can you go can't you go left though technically well, if you went if you went back sucks. right the, it's like that's into the, the driving range you go like right. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I agree with you. That hole's not great. I, I like the shot of the flex forehand into the green if it's like if the distance is right for it. So if you oh, make, yeah. if you were to make it a par five, I like that gap you can kind of see in that OB. It's a nice gap. That little circle of OB up by the basket. Most of the players I feel like on, on the, the tour right now are gonna go between that circle of OB and the right OB. Um, that's pretty much what I'm going to do if I'm not in perfect position, just kind of chip a forehand chip up there, there and chip another man. forehand up there, or yeah. Isaac will throw a turnover back into the green. And But, yeah, if you move that tee pad back, like I think there are, might be some woods on the left, too, you could maybe use. I'm not sure what the property oh, line like is. Oh, like a little yeah. gap shot out? The original yeah, plan something. that must have fallen through was kind of where the end of a logo is. They were going to build a, like, deck in there. Okay. And that was Ooh. where the T was originally going to be. Um, so then you could actually get. You could, it would have been the, farther back, and it probably would have played exactly like you said. But is this a hole both of y'all are looking at, and you're just thinking all three rounds out there, par, par, par? You're not oh, going to yeah. lose strokes to you're anybody. You're probably not upset. Yeah, yeah. The worst thing you do is to try to because you try to get to that next one and not make it. Or you you mm -hmm. throw without enough hyzer and now you flip it over and you're OB right. You're it's yeah. a guaranteed bogey at best. If mm -hmm. you're short right, you're you're getting a bogey. I'm just telling myself, unless I'm literally on that flat, I'm not going to go for it. It's yeah. just not worth yeah. it. Yeah, makes um, sense. They, then, the, the next hole they ruined. Um, the next hole I thought was good, if you want to go there, Silas. Um, so it's hard to see. That is not what it looks like. Yeah, very hard to <laughs> I see. I think that's what it used to look like. I think that is. It's, okay. It's very hard okay. to see exactly what the hole is now, but – where all your shots are landing that are good, and you're like, I'm 45 feet short, 50 feet short, mm -hmm. that's where the pin was. Okay. And so uh, it was a good hole because that is a landing zone that we can yeah. hit with mm -hmm. good shots. Well, then I like it being with the OB being tight. Correct. How, how it was. They actually end up moving the left line, I think, 10, 15 feet left. Uh, there's a little bubble about circles that short left that they opened up a little bit. Um, but, yeah, because, like, I've been throwing so good hard. shots and landing there. Yeah. But when you throw a shot that actually gets to the basket, you almost always go be long left. It's impossible. It's too, too downhill. Well, and then the mental problem, too, is the car path on the right. Like, if you hit right of the path, zero chance of getting in bounds. Yeah. Yep. You just never go in bounds. And, and this isn't a super accurate picture of the hole. No. Because you, it has to be a hyzer. There is no straight shot to get it to land soft. The only way to land it soft is kind of like a nose-up putter that almost stalls backwards a little bit in a way. And that's a scary shot to throw down. But it's just like the, the percentage of that happening and, you know, having it – you're hanging that putter over the right side OB. I've done it before where it just it just doesn't hyzer in time. And then you're taking it way back, still trying to save your bogey. You could easily yeah. double from there. So, I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan. It's not fan. a great stretch. Four, five, and six is not a great and stretch. I think that's why I kind of had a bad outlook on the course was because – I think like three holes on a course that are not great, especially when they're in a row, can like just throw off the whole vibe. Yeah, like, oh, another sure. terrible hole, another terrible hole. Yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of have that that feeling about it. But you know, I, I enjoy. I think the most of the back nine. I didn't love what fourteen guys, at all or seventeen at all. Really, I think I think seventeen's tough. a little fluky. Are you still yeah. going skip shot off the water? Uh, I think I'm just throwing an air shot that okay. gets lucky through the branches. Um, what are you guys doing on 16? Is that a different game plan depending ooh, on the round? I'm a park it like I did in practice. <laughs> oh, there you go. You parked a roller? Not in real. Oh. I, I put a roller within 250. Oh, that's I mean that's pretty so good. I'll be that's going I'll be soft. going roll roll, roll on that so hole. So they did they did this little cutout that yes. that didn't exist when they first uh, had this course I set like up it. for I us. I like it a lot. So it does make you have to make a decision on are you laying up short and then you're playing like kind of three like kind of 350 foot shots basically. Um, or are you are you guys going air shot to clear it? Just roller. I, I will only throw a roller. I, I threw like a couple pretty good air shots that I did, I did throw one air shot that was like crazy aggressive that I'm not going to do again. It was a sky ante and I cleared it by like 100 and something feet, but my roller easily cleared as long as I hit the angle good. I, I'm trying to get it to go like 400 feet in the air before it even hits the ground. I love those. And then just roll. I, I was like 60 mm -hmm. feet past the FPO pin on that hole, so oh, wow. I was super happy Jeez. with that. Um, 
obviously if it's a headwind, I probably will lay up short and just take the par. And you know, Isaac, what are your thoughts? It's an easy par. Um, yeah. I cleared I cleared the OB one time in practice, and then with a perfect uh, shot, <laughs> with a perfect shot, and uh, yeah, I'm just laying up. It's Do pretty you feel easy like par. Holes like that where you know someone might get baited into going aggressive, where they're gonna. Mm. Do you feel like that like gives you an advantage where you're like, oh, I'm playing golf here, yes. and I know every time I'm taking taking my mm -hmm. par versus Gannon might be like, I'm sending it, and if he gets it all three, great. Yeah, I think the people who do birdie it there's going to be a handful yeah but i'll gain strokes on them somewhere else in the course nice. so this is Love a that. this is a hole i'm just playing smart now gannon as you go into like course prep how important is your feelings about a course like to performance like is it something where when you stop when you're like i don't really know how i feel about a course is that something you like actively try to change or are you just like it is what it is i can still shred it so i did think a little bit in the past that you know maybe if i had a a bad thought about the course or my feelings about a course that I will play bad in the event. And I kind of proved myself wrong this year at a Beaver State Fling. Okay. I haven't been a huge fan of the Milo course, especially the, the layout that they chose. I feel like they, you know, used a lot of bad holes that they had for 2023, was it? And they kind of kept a lot of the terrible ones for 2024. Mm -hmm. And I know it's tough because it's a state park and you yeah. can you know, like cut certain things. Uh, so, you know, maybe it's not their fault, but it doesn't change the course. It's still, there's a lot of like bad holes. I've, I think it was like hole five or something. I had that like really stupid OB in the Creek. Um, 15, 15 was it kind of a, a very tough hole, which actually was yeah. huge for me in the tournament. I was able to birdie that, but I think there was only three birdies the whole day. And so it just doesn't create go uh, good score separation. Um, so, but I ended up winning the Beaver state fling this year. Um, so I, th I think it doesn't matter what my opinion is on a course. I think I can play good. I, I mean, having a good mental game is like, you can't let that affect your play. Like that's got to be rule number one in your mind is like that. You can't let that mess with, you know, the shots you're throwing and, you know, you can't be blaming the course, even if, you know, maybe you did get a little bit unlucky because you're kind of just, just putting you in a bad mindset. So kind of, I'm going to put that behind me. Uh, you know, I, I think it's a, it's a decent course for Ivy. I think new London is easily in my top 10, possibly my top five courses. Mm -hmm. London is just amazing. I'd love to see champions cup there. If they end up switching it, hopefully they do. Um, I don't know they why they time. didn't they still do time. that There's there. Still time. But um, yeah, I mean, new London's a beautiful so course, great. beautiful course. So great. All right, Isaac, we were talking about this a little bit earlier on debate night, which will come out on Thursday. Make sure you guys tune in Wednesday. It's come out on Wednesday this week. Make sure you guys <laughs> tune in. Um, if you win, mm -hmm. you will join a very illustrious group. I think the only players to ever go back to back at Worlds, Ken Climo, yep. Paul McBeth, Ricky Wysocki. Yep. I think that's it. So, you know, winning. In NPO. In NPO, yes, yes. Yeah. Winning last year, obviously, after you already won Champions Cup, crazy season, awesome, great, great, great. But if you win this year and go back to back, what, what does that do for you? Like, how, how does that make you feel going yeah. into the rest of the season? How does that make you feel? I mean, this is a contract year, too, yep. I believe, which yep. is that would be kind of nice as well. That would so, be huge. So, yeah. So, just walk me through the emotions because I know if you are in contention, mm -hmm. that has to be something that's in the back of your head of, holy mm -hmm. crap, I might be one of the only people to ever do this. Yeah. And that's, you know, I think with the talent these days, it's going to be even harder to do. For sure. Um, as years go on. Um, so, that would be really cool to kind of put your name in there as, you know, somebody who's done that. Uh, and that is on, you know, there's a lot of thoughts in my mind this week, but that is definitely one of them. Uh, contract year is pretty big. And I think for as far as the season goes, it would just be uh, – I would consider this season a success. Um, it hasn't been my best season. It also hasn't been my worst season yet. So mm -hmm. um, really just trying to work on my game all year and, you know, winning Worlds or, or even winning USDGC um, or, you know, even Green Mountain. Like any of those I would consider – successful season um mm -hmm. and i think my game is kind of trending you know in the right direction at the right time um my past three finishes have been in the top six i think um and so i'm feeling really good heading into this week and there's a lot of there's a lot of excitement about um just what could happen love that all right for those that don't know you guys have a pretty big group if you will you know post on social media you post on youtube you got you, you two, Ezra, Gavin, 
Alden? Am I missing anyone? Is there a new person? There's like, I don't know, stragglers, I'd say. Yeah. yeah but those, like, those are yeah, core, those five. Are like core, core five. Yeah. Core five. How many people in the group are finishing in the top 10 this week? Ooh. How many of those five? You don't have to say that five. You don't say you have to say who three. it's going to be. I'm going to go three to four. I like three. Three, I like three. 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 possibly four. Ooh. I don't think it can be Clean all five. Clean sweep five? I don't think it can be five, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> it just, it just uh, can't happen. It just, just can't happen. I don't know. Impossible. Has that ever happened? All five uh, go in the top ten? We've, we've had four in the top three. Yeah, we've gotten four. That's, <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> we had a big yeah. I, I won Des Moines, and then Gavin, Ezra, and you got, I got second, second, third, and third. And Gavin so. and Ezra what is with Gavin and Des Moines? Do you guys know? What it's is the home it with, crowd. Is home that crowd. what it is? Yeah. It just, it's a, I, think, I think it's a good course for him because it has a lot of forehand shots, and okay. he's amazing at those. And obviously, you know, he's me and him have been playing there for seven years at this point because he's had good finishes but it's mm -hmm. like whenever des moines goes around you know he's yeah. going to be in contention yep like it's just it's just guaranteed gavin's so. had a very low-key impressive year i feel like last, last year too though last yeah, year too last year season. last year kind of broke out of like he can actually be in contention Correct. for an event mm -hmm. this year i think he's like 14th in tour points no one's talking about that no like he yeah. when when everyone talks about like who's the next guy that doesn't have a win like who's the mm -hmm. next one that needs to win his name never gets brought up yeah, he, yeah. Sh he should you know like, start to be brought in this conversation i think he's 10 32 rated which is top 20 rated in the world what's that jumped like almost 20 points yeah from last year? Like, yeah he's um Jeez. yeah i'm looking at some stats right now but he's uh his ratings is it's pretty much never dropped it's always just gone up since he joined the tour i think you know 2022 he was a 10 11 golfer even 10 07 early 2022 and already being a 10 32 right now to go up that many points is pretty crazy especially on the pro tour but and his his achilles yeah. i think has always been putting inside the circle when the pressure's on yeah he seems to have always like i just remember watching coverage of like he's kind of had a great you know, stretch of holes. He's starting to make a push, mm -hmm. and then he has like a twenty footer that he throws mm -hmm. off the cage. Yeah, right. Yeah. If if that goes away, then all of a sudden it's like you know he can be dangerous here mm -hmm. in the thing. So I I think these courses too, especially with New London, like some of those holes out there. I love his I love his game for that course as well. Mm -hmm. He played it really well, Bow for Bedford a few years ago. Yeah, he was 20, out here. Twenty one, maybe. You're right. Yeah. He yeah. was out first here first year on that. tour. That was. Yeah. But he's already got a. Fourth at OTB, fifth at Las Vegas, two sevenths at Beaver State and, and Jonesboro, eighth at DDO, ninth at European Open, the major. So yeah, tons of top tens. Like yeah. a lot of top tens hasn't quite really cracked the top five except for that one time. But I mean, oh, this is what I was waiting for. I knew Edwin was going to fire. I'd be, I'd be scared. Edwin's in house, by the way. Shout out to Edwin. Edwin stats Gannon, in house. Gannon was coming for his job a little bit there, so I was just waiting for Edwin to fire one in there. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin Babcock's average finish last year was 45th. This year, 25th. Wow. Wow. Of 20 spots. 45th? Wow. Yeah, That's this barely year, cashing. 25th. That's yeah. crazy. That is impressive stuff. Big jump. Very now, nice. Um, Isaac, so your brother obviously is having a very solid year as mm -hmm. well. I'm very, very competitive with my brother, also the younger <laughs> sibling. Is that something where if you see Ezra get off hot, like, mm -hmm. do you have an extra competitive drive when you see your brother's name ahead of you? Or is it just like, I want to win, there's nothing, nothing more to it? Uh, yeah, there's always, there's always, always if that. I see it, if I see his name ahead of mine, I'm, I'm chasing him down or going to try to, it's yeah. been hard this year, but, uh, yeah, he's having a phenomenal year. Yeah. Yep. It's been great. Uh, now with both of you, obviously last year's world champ, the dude who's won, I think four of the five four round events or something like that, you the can current favorite, second. we'll grab you on a second. uh, you know, with both of you coming into the event, a lot of noise surrounding is there anything like y'all do to block that out and just be like, I'm here just to, to play disc golf? Is there any type of routine of like nerves high or anything like that that you just like Lego building? Shut it up oh, and get the golf. Dice, dice golf. Dice golf. <laughs> dice golf. Dice golf. What the heck is yeah. that? Oh, it's the new it's thing. It's the best game ever. We've been is playing. it the actual new thing? It's the yes, new thing for yes, us. It's the new thing. We, I was going to make a YouTube video on it. Okay. okay I'll have it's, to watch uh, it. It's going to be out on YouTube somewhere soon, hopefully, <laughs> because. Everyone needs to experience the joy of it. Okay. Yeah. And how unfair. The pain. Of it, actually. And the pain oh. But also the success. Oh. Yeah. So Sounds like golf. It's crazy. Yeah, but it's, it's crazy. It's dice, so We've there's, playing, no, there's no skill do, uh, involved. We $5 money games. Like, oh, uh, heck yeah. You know, we have like four or five people playing. So, like, first gets like 10 bucks, second gets their money back, and third and fourth pay or something like that. And it just, it's so fun because it's like, it's so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what, what's the dynamic when, like, everyone has a good round and someone doesn't? 
What's that dynamic? Um, well, is one, there anyone? One person doesn't talk very much that Yeah, night. they hide in their room all night. Okay, oh, okay. so, so <laughs> is, is it pretty much across the board, everyone reacts the same way if they play bad? Or is there some people that you know, like, <laughs> we're just not going to see that person the rest I'd of the day? I'd say some get frustrated and some get quiet. I'd oh, say gosh. that's like the mix. Yeah. I get sad. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd say I get... I get sad. Or no, I sorry. Isaac gets sad. Alden gets quiet. He gets very and then quiet. And I say like Ezra, me and Gavin get mad. Nice. Maybe I don't know. I feel like that's pretty accurate. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, it's always an interesting a dynamic when you have like other people and you're like playing really well, mm -hmm. and then they come back and you're just kind of like, well, like what do I say? Uh, Especially if that's like if you, if you played a great round and yes, your friend played yeah. like six over. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't really want to be like, dude, yeah. this course was sick. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, I played awesome today. I banged all these putts. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. what'd you do? I was like, I'd throw B in the first five holes. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you guys have anything coming up disc wise, anything like that for the people? Color Glow Horizon, Sea Line Cloud Breaker dropping tomorrow. Ooh. Disc Mania store. Okay. Uh, check it out. It's a. Uh, I'd say more am friendly uh, cloud breaker plastics a little bit softer. They all have a nice small dome on them, and uh, yeah, I can get a little bit of flip out of them. And I think people, you know, 350 to 400 foot range are gonna like them. Trevor nice. was crushing these today. Yeah, that oh. was when he kept getting us in position. Oh, okay. He was, okay. He was throwing it good. He was throwing it good. Good to see. Good to see. Isaac, you got anything coming up? No. No. Okay. No. Might might change after this week though. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully we have another world to drop. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate you guys. Always fun having you guys appreciate on the pod. It. Good luck this yeah. week. See you guys out there. Thanks what time do you guys tee? 315. The one before that. Okay. okay. So 255. Second, second card, lead card, yep. or featured, second featured, yep. whatever it's called. All right, sweet. Good luck out there, boys. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Take it easy.